Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Lourdes, L-O-U-R-D-E-S, and this is Knitting Season. Uh, it's my channel where I talk about my discoveries in knitting and uh, just whatever comes to my mind. I last spoke to you a couple weeks ago where I gave you an update for last month. Um, and uh, since then I've made a couple um, new things. I've finished a couple new things and I've also started a new project last night. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and uh, give me a thumbs up. That would really help my channel to be able to reach other people that are also interested in knitting. So yes. Let's get to it. The first thing that I have is a project that I mentioned in my last video. The last time that I uh, talked about it, I said that I was almost finished with it and I had to do the seaming for it. And so I think the seaming uh, wasn't very successful, but still it's my first time doing it. So yeah, so the pattern is grandma's almost favorite by Laura Spencer and it's this uh, circle dish bond. I had a lot of trouble making this because, because I couldn't figure out how how the pattern laid out when it was finished but now that it's done I think that it, I, it, I was just complicating things in my brain. Um, you can definitely see where it would seem um, but I think it's okay. I mean, it's not too bad for my first try. I'll probably try to make this another time. I'm not sure. I do like the idea of the circle dish cloths. But I don't know. I For this, I use Lily's Sugar and Cream in the color French Rose. And this is the sport weight version of the yarn. And as I've said before, this yarn is discontinued. I got it from like Goodwill or something. I really like it because it's thinner and lighter than the regular cotton that they produce. And it just makes like a really nice fabric that dries really fast. The next thing that I worked on were a couple of the, uh, bath mitts. So, the pattern is Bat Myth by Bernard Design Studio. And the yarn that I used is the Lily Sugar and Cream Scrub Off in the color cream. This is what the texture of the yarn looks like. For my first myth, I read some of the comments on the pattern and people were saying that they were too small. And so I decided to make it with a larger needle that was uh, suggested. And so the mitten came, came out like this. It is looser than what I thought it would be. Um, and it is a little shorter. You see where my hand is like this. So I wasn't too happy with that. So I decided to make another one. And for this one, I used a bigger size needle than what was suggested, but still smaller than the one that I had previously made because for this one, I used the size 10. And for this one, I used the size eight. So you can see. Um, I also, for this one, made it a little longer here in the cuff. So for the cuff, um, I used a smaller needle, I think I used a seven, and then for the rest I used an eight. And you can see the difference. For the hanging loop thing, I don't know how to crochet and I don't I don't know how to make this, so I have my mom finish it off like this. And this one, this was the first try, so it's kind of wobbly. But yeah, I think I will make a couple more of these, the larger size, and just give them to my family. I might keep this smaller one. And for this, you make it like uh, one piece and then you seam it. 
And I think the same for this one. Um, because I use this part of the scrubby fabric so you can kind of see it here and I don't think I did a very good job. And it was also kind of hard to do this with this fabric. So if I do this next time I have to remember to use the plain fabric to complete the seaming, not use this. This looks kind of weird. You can see for the seaming here, it's not too bad, right? Looks a little better. I also did the, the seaming for the thumb. This is my first time doing this. I think it came out okay. There's no holes or anything. For this one, since it was the second one, it came out even better. So I'm really happy with these. And the yarn, um, I'm not too sure about it. I like the idea of it, but it's not coarse enough that you would think like it's going to make a difference when you're using it on your skin and stuff. And um, I don't know. I have to get back to you when I actually use these in the bath. The color was uh, pretty cute though. So yeah, this is uh, another completed project. And uh, the next one I'm very excited about. So I, on the last video, I said that I had uh, been frustrated making a top that I tried to uh, do from a pattern uh, published by Drops which I found uh, very confusing. And so I decided to strap them. And I was lamenting that I didn't show you guys uh, what had gone wrong with that project. I, because I just rage, just like rage fraud. <laughs> um, but since then, I've completed a different uh, top using the same yarn. And the top is the pattern. Uh, it's very popular. Everyone knows it, I think. It's called the Ripple Camisole by JC Made Designs. This is a paid pattern. And the yarn that I used is Lion Brands, A Star Is Born, Oh Baby Organic. And the color is Coral. It's a very, very pretty co color. So here's the finished uh, top. This is the back. This is the front. I made the size small. I started making the extra small and I realized it was actually too tight in the arms. That might have been my, um, just like, I'm kind of allergic to uh, trying stuff as I'm making it. It's my, it's my problem, okay? I have a problem with that. And so I made the smaller version and I realized it was too too tight. And my mom was telling me as I was showing her the top, she was like, isn't it too small? It looks too small. Do you fit in that? And I was like, yeah, you know, it, it's ribbed. So, you know, it's going to expand when I wear it. And she was like, hmm, are you sure? I was like, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. And I, after I finished that, tried it on, I realized it was too tight, but not like unbearably tight or anything. I could have used it, but I also realized it was too short. Like. It came out like a bralette or something. And I'm not someone that usually wears very cropped things. So I was like, okay, maybe I can salvage this. Maybe I can make it longer. Like I could try to fix it to go back and uh, make it longer. So I tried that and it was a complete disaster. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to do it. and was just making a mess. So that's as usual with me. I just uh, completely raged, uh, frogged it, <laughs> start over. And uh, thankfully I did because I'm very happy with the final result. I decided to go size up and make it longer. So I think I made the body, I have the notes on my Ravelry, but I, make, I made it like five inches longer than it called for. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. This was also my first time blocking something. And uh, I think, yeah, I'm very happy with it. So I didn't have many mistakes with this. The only thing I found was that I had like a hole on the side, I think here. 
this was like loose like this and i can't figure out why i have to find the way to figure out why i'm doing the center decreases wrong because what en ends up happening is that for some reason my right side of every well i've only made two tops and both of them were from Jesse made so why the right side always ends up with one less stitch like where's that stitch going like we need to do an investigation this is the case for the fbi i need to know where that stitch is going um i have some ideas um uh, but you know i don't want to accuse anyone of anything <laughs> and i need to figure out why i always have like one stitch left on that side I'm one stitch less on that side so yeah and then uh, for this if I make it again I'll probably not seam it like here you can see I didn't do a very good job because you join the straps in the middle and if I do this next time I'll just make like a really long strap and um, seam it like back here so yeah, I'm pretty happy. And the color came out so pretty. I already wore it. And uh, I'm extremely proud of myself that I actually finished this. Oh, by the way, I'm also wearing a Jessie Mae uh, Designs top. This is the little secret top. Everyone knows this, right? Like everyone has made this, it's very popular. Um, when I got it, I think it was free. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was free when I when I got this. This is the first garment that I made. And this yarn is um, Katya. Uh, it's Katya. Don't remember the name. If I if I remember, I'll put it in the description. And um, I liked it. I like how it came out. At this for this being my first pattern. If I make it next time, I'll probably make it like a little longer. But for this being, the, I'm just like in love with her patterns because they're so detailed, they explain everything. And it's just really, it's just really great that she takes the time to explain everything and uh, just make so many adjustments for your body type. And it's just really cool. I love it. Okay, enough of that. Let's move on to something else. Um, I did make a lot of dishcloths because I, after I had been frustrated for a while making the top, I wanted to make something smaller. So I decided to make another dishcloth and I'm finding that um, dishcloths are very good practice for learning new techniques and it doesn't take very long. And I don't want to start like a top or something where I have to go back all the time because I made a mistake from a technique that I could have used some practice on. So. Yes, the next pattern is a dishcloth. Uh, it's called Leaf Lace Washcloth by Jan Eaton. And I'm pretty sure this was a free pattern. Yeah. And for this, I used that same Lily Sugar and Cream, which I'm very sad that I ran out of already, but you know, it had to be done. There's, <laughs> I made so many things with two schemes. It just, I made way too many things, um, which was great. And for this, I use the needle size six. And as you can see, so, as you can see, uh, it's a lace pattern in the shape of like leaves. You can see here. And I think it came out super cute. It almost, it looks kind of delicate. I think I did a, you know, it's an okay job. I don't think I made any mistakes by itself. But um, you can definitely tell that my, like some of my purling needs a lot of work. It's not very consistent. Like on these here, I don't, I don't know how to fix that. I think I just need to work on it. Like you can tell this is a little messier than something like this. So I need to work on that tension. Um, but because how I hold my yarn, it's very difficult, I think. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much 
sweaters. I don't know what I'll use all these uh, dishcloths for. Like, I, I keep giving them to my mom. And she just like saves them. I don't know what she's saving them for. It's not like, like I don't understand. <laughs> Okay, the next, next dishcloth that I worked on was a scrappy dishcloth and I used the dishcloth recipe by Robin West. This is a free pattern also. also. And I think this is my favorite kind of uh, recipe because you work it from um, corner to corner and it comes out pretty straight. Like I used um, both sugar and cream here and this one's the blueberry color that I had to get rid of. So I used up all that I had and I used up all the pink that I had. And then I used a little bit of that scrub off here, which is a little thicker, but you can't really tell. And um, I like how it came out. It kind of looks like an ice cream. It's very simple and I like how the corners come out very rounded. And it's just like a really nice square shape. The other dishcloth that I made is the Lattice Cable Washcloth by Stacy Wilkinson. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's also a free pattern. It's my first time doing cables. I used the cable needles that I got a couple weeks ago that I showed you guys. And for this, I used the sh sugar and cream uh, in the color teal with size six needles. I think the pattern called for five and I used the six. I am a very tight meter. So I'm learning that I should uh, go at least two needle sizes up. And um, for this one, I just went one size. And I did block this because I think I made the bind off too tight. So it was kind of wobbly um, just from one side. So it came out like this. With this, you can clearly see that what I was talking about, the, the left leaning, as you can see there, yeah. Yeah, the left leaning is uh, kind of not as nice as the right ones. And that's because of my purling um, tension. I'll, I have to figure out how to improve that. From afar, it doesn't look bad, but when I look at it up close, yeah. This one's kind of like stiff. I don't know if it would be like a really good dishcloth or not. But um, yeah, it was good to learn cables and I can see myself enjoying that in the future and the final thing that I finished this week was a, a sweater for my dog <laughs> um, so my dog has ha has been having health issues she's uh, almost 15 years old I just um, have been working like I mean have been very worried about her and she's been getting kind of like shivering so I thought you know I'll just make a sweater for her and try to make her more comfortable so I did I looked up this pattern it's called Pebbles Dog Sweater by Barbara Lawson this also is a free pattern from Ravelry and I used that same uh, cotton yarn for this the pattern uh, is made for a smaller dog, so I had to increase in some parts, like make this uh, larger and longer. And I had to figure out how to fit her, her legs through the size that I adjusted it to. And actually ended up being like a little too tight, so I might block this like a little bigger. And also it might be because the bind off that I made is like very stiff. So I want to learn other types of bind off because I can see that being a problem. But it fits her really well. And then the belly part is like this. I'm very proud of myself that I was able to make this pattern adjusting, like making my own adjustments and it actually fits her. 
and I made this like I think two days or something like that so I used that colorway and I used size six needles and I'm very happy I hope she likes it it's very comfortable for her okay so that's all my finished objects for my whips I only have one uh, that I keep this in this uh, Clara Rose crafts bag it's a drawstring bag and um, I'm not sure I have much to show you I'm using size 5 needles and I'm working on a hat and I literally just casted it on the hat that I'm working on is a Jack's Jack still hat by Lala don't know how to pronounce that I'm sorry Lija Lala um, and the yarn that I'm using is Novita Naye and uh, I think this hat will be for my dad he keeps asking me I've made him a couple other hats and he every time I finish something for him he's like can you make this why didn't you make it like this or this I'm like okay <laughs> The only person I take requests from is him. And uh, I think I'll keep it that way. So, yeah, that's the only whip I have. The next time I talk to you, I'll probably have made a couple more things. I plan to make more dishcloths. Um, and I also plan to make a couple more tops. And I might have started by the time I talk to you next. Uh, might have started my first sweater. We'll see what happens with that. And um, yeah, I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. Well, um, if you want to see more videos, please uh, hit the like button. And uh, if you enjoyed this one specifically please uh, consider subscribing i will be posting more videos next week um a couple more um things that i've been working on and i think that i will be posting an update every three weeks or something like that at least once a month i'll be posting a project update and uh, the next video is going to be a small haul so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.